Charlemagne the God has unleashed a shocking revelation. This guy has just made some staggering allegations, connecting none other than Diddy with the notorious Jeffrey Epstein. We were just coming from a photo shoot and we were in the hotel room. I fall asleep on the couch because, you know, we were just out all day. I wake up to him storming in the room and screaming, where is she? They shut the door and everything just started happening. And I saw the aftermath, you know, the bruises, the busted lip, the knots on the head, and it was really bad. Like, I don't know how any man could hurt a another human being that way. Mona says she called a doctor friend to patch the singer up. She and Cassie were too afraid to take her to hospital, let alone go to the police. You felt like you couldn't? No, we couldn't. You think we could have d d done that back then? No, hell no. Absol absolutely not. That, that's just, that would not be safe for any of us. In your, uh, in your book, uh, Get Honest or Die Lying, you talk about the influence of hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when it comes to hip hop, of course, many people think of Diddy as uh, one of the, uh, the pioneers. Um, and, and at one point, you were not happy that his legacy was being destroyed. Let me play this piece of sound. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I just don't like it. I, mean, I, don't, I don't like it just because it's sad. Like, you know, how many, how many people's legacies have we watched burn to the ground? You know, from the Russell Simmons, from, you know, But it's Diddy. good. These guys provided the soundtrack to our lives. They contributed to culture in real ways before we knew any of this yeah, No, you have yeah. feelings. You have mixed after emotions. That. And then the video came out after that. He's now issued his sort of apology. Cassie's come out again. Have your thoughts on that change? Well, my thoughts, even in that clip that you just played, in context, I said, it's sad to see these people's legacies being destroyed based off, you know, uh, at the time, alleged poor choices. Now we know that those poor choices aren't alleged. We saw the video. So, yeah, it still is, you know, sad to see them, you know, not do the work on themselves, have all that unhealed trauma, projecting that pain and that hurt onto a, a woman. So, yeah, he put himself in that situation. And, and, yes, that is still very sad to see. It's sad all across the board. I don't know why we act like, you know, it's just one emotion when it comes to things like this. Because somebody like, you know, Diddy, yeah, we're lying to ourselves if we say he didn't provide the soundtrack to, to, to our lives. I don't know him on a personal level. I just know the professional accolades, which were very inspiring to somebody like me. Him having his own record label, him having his own, you know, vodka, like becoming a billionaire. Like, those were things that were like, wow, that's the, that's the American dream in a lot of ways, right? And to be doing that from, from hip hop, that was something that was commendable, but we didn't know him as a person. So are you now angry at him, disappointed in him about the fact that this guy you admired so much has turned out to be Pretty bad guy. Angry at him, disappointed in him. Um, I don't know if I know him to be angry at him or disappointed in him. I, I think what, what bothers me the most is just constantly seeing people make poor decisions and poor choices that cause them to self-destruct. And I think that even with this situation, one thing that I think we get lost in is the celebrity of it all. I think you have to focus on the issue, not the individual. Whatever happens, to him is gonna happen. He's gonna have to deal with the consequences of his actions, and you see it happening now. Like, I don't know if that's gonna lead to him, you know, being arrested or whatever, but the, the, the empire is falling. It's over professionally. Only thing he can do is go out there and try to get his soul right. But what about the issue of domestic violence? Right. What about the issue of patriarchy? What about the issue of, you know, unhealed trauma inside of people that is causing brothers to, you know, you know cause that kind of harm? You know, the women, those are the things that we should be talking about because there's somebody, as I'm talking right now, there's a woman out there probably getting beat up or assaulted, you know, by a man. And her story isn't going to be on the news. And that, you know, culture of men doing those kind of things, committing violence to women, is still going to be going on. We need to be having conversations solutions. about that. Yeah, solutions. solutions. We know what the problem is. But if we continue just to focus on the, the individual, we'll get caught up in that. You'll be asking me questions like, so should Peloton be getting rid of Diddy's music? It's like... <laughs> F Diddy, like he's gonna have to deal with 
the consequence of his actions. But what about everybody else that still has to deal with domestic violence? That's st women that still have to deal with the patriarchy. Women that still have to deal with, you know, men that have unhealed trauma projecting that onto them. Like, that's what I want to talk about. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to ask you about Peloton, so. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all recall that debate with DJ Academics accusing Charlemagne of being too timid to speak out about Day? Well, it looks like Charlemagne's ready to silence those rumors once and for all. Yeah, so Probably not a great husband, but Right yeah, now, everything's going on. <laughs> nobody wants to talk about him. I don't want to be Why the sacrificial Why does nobody list. want to talk about it? I don't know. Are people afraid of Diddy's influence? Is that what this is? No, I think I'm watching, I'm watching, bro. It is, I'm like, Charlemagne, tell the truth, bro. Go ahead. Oh, hell nah. Like, I'm on my own. You think Charlamagne won't talk about Diddy? Nobody will talk about it. Listen, I called Joe. Joe said, Ack, you ain't on with this one, man. I'll catch you on the next game. I'm like, what? Really? What the fuck? He's hung really? Yeah. So, so, and explain the influence of Diddy, because I'm seeing people I don't know. dropping him That's, left and right. Play this. I don't, like, I don't know what they might Did be Diddy fearful kill of. Did Diddy kill Aaliyah? <laughs> why are you putting Leo? Why is, why is she involved in this? I thought she, it was like a faulty plane, but you never know. You blew up a car, you never know. Might have, I don't know. But mm. why Leah? You tell me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now let's delve into the sordid specifics. Epstein's parties were legendary for their A-list guests and scandalous exclusivity. Now Charlemagne isn't holding back as he exposes some unsettling secrets about Diddy's own notorious escapades. I want to end, uh, Charlemagne, a couple of totally different stories. Um, one is what's happening with P. Diddy. Uh, his former security guard, Roger Bonds, came on my show last week, said he'd seen Diddy violent with multiple women. Um, a lot more allegations coming out all the time about it. What do you make of what is happening with Diddy? The same thing I make of, you know, what's happening with anybody. You know, if you, you know, you got to deal with the consequences of your actions, period. You can't run from yourself. I tell people that all the time, man. Like, you know, I'm a big proponent of mental health. And the reason I'm a big proponent of mental health and, and you know, people doing the work on themselves is because a lot of people are dealing with a lot of unhealed trauma. They're dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. And they end up projecting that pain and that hurt onto other people. And, um, you know, that's that's what I think has been happening with him over the years. I don't I don't know him personally. I know him from interviewing him. You know, of course, I've had conversations with him, but I've never hung out with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I've never been to a Diddy party. None of that. Like, that's just not, you know, things that I'm interested in doing. But I feel like, you know, he's a person who's been dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of hurt for a long time. And, you know, it seems like he's been hurting a lot of people. And like I said, projecting a lot of pain on folks. And you cannot run from yourself. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're P. Diddy. I don't care if you're Donald Trump. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care what race you are. You cannot run from yourself. Eventually, you know, your BS will catch up with you. And I mean, I think that's what we're seeing right now. I think we're seeing a lot of his BS catching up with him. I mean, you can't even hide. Like, you, you just the same way, you know, Trump was trying to hide things. It, P. Diddy was trying to hide things, too, by, by, with, with, by, by you know, suppressing that tape mm. so i mean you know you can't run from yourself Piz. you got to deal with the consequences of your actions so you know whatever happens to him as far as you know legal legal ramifications are concerned or you know jail time he has to deal with that but what i would tell people is don't forget what the issue is because a lot of times we do that here in america we get so caught up in the celebrity that we forget what the actual issue is and the issue in this situation is domestic violence the issue in this situation is the patriarchy because as long as you have you know, men, especially powerful men, you know, thinking that women are their property, you know, and they can do whatever to them. You're going to see situations like, you know, the Diddy Cassie take. And um, like I said, you know, men not dealing with their, with, their, with, their, with their unhealed trauma, you know, men not dealing with their pain, men not dealing with their hurt and projecting it onto, you know, people around them. Those are the three issues that I think we really should be focused on because long after we, we're not talking about this P. Diddy and Cassie situation anymore, there's still going to be women all around the world you know, dealing with, 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 with men like that. Mm. So how do we get to the root of the issue? I think we only get to the root of the issue by talking about the actual issue and not the individuals. And guess what? Charlemagne isn't the only one making these claims. Comedian Andrew Schultz has also weighed in, branding Diddy as Hip Hop's Epstein with a twist. Schultz believes that Diddy is less likely to take his own life than Epstein. The rumors are that Diddy was running some kind of Epstein type deal where he was filming everybody, right? That's the rumors, yeah. I don't know that there's any proof of anything other than that. The thing is, like, we're Boston. getting the rumors from the internet, right. and the, the internet thinks that the Taliban took out that bridge in Baltimore. So it's like, who can knows? Who knows what's real? That's what Diddy's lawyers, I think, said. It was like, yeah, these are just 
trumped up charges, not trumped up, I don't think they said that, but like like bullshit charges. Dude, when Homeland Security invades your house. You got problems. With dudes with guns and body armor. There's Forget, Someone said that they weren't there to take stuff, they were there to delete everything. Like the real people that were in there, you know. Oh, like that's funny. With Epstein. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's fine. Of course. There's layers upon layers. <laughs> when you get into these fucking conspiracy theories, man, they, they never end. They never end. There's just layers upon layers upon layers. It's fun to talk about. It is fun to talk about. It's hard to know what's true. But yeah. why, people genuinely love it when someone like Diddy gets caught, though. The glee that people have is weird. Why? Because he's too successful. Also, it's like there was always so much East Coast, West Coast shit that's still like in the zeitgeist, you know, like with Biggie and Tupac and they're all hating at each other and they both got killed and there was a lot going on. And then there's people that thought that Puffy was involved and Suge Knight was involved. Of, I think Suge Knight's the one who said the thing I just thought of. What thing? <clears throat> About that they were there to delete stuff. <laughs> well... If he really was filming everybody, I mean, he had a lot of people at those parties, right? You know who said <laughs> Luke from Two Live Crew? Yeah, he said he was to leave early. Yeah, or something, right? <laughs> when Luke from Two Live Crew is leaving early, like you got a wild party. <laughs> what, what if what's happening is too fucked up for for Luke from Two Live Crew? Like, check, please. There's so many different stories. Who knows? What are you going to do? I'm not doing that. We're not involved in them. I'm I was involved. never at Diddy's party. I don't even know the mother. We're out I here. I don't want to know nobody. Telling jokes. Nobody. Telling jokes. Like I told you. Having fun. That's it. Yeah. Smoking dope, cracking jokes, making people laugh. That's Everything it. Everything else is background music. And living in L.A., you have all this shit that's going on around mm -hmm. you. That's what I, you know, you have your life, and then you have all this shit that goes in and out of your ears. Off and day, and you're like, I just want to do stand up. You also have those uh, those celebrity environments where celebrities all get together, and there's so many of them, you know, and these wild parties. And if you got a wild party, and P Diddy puts on that wild party, and you know he sets everybody up. Like if you were an intelligence agent, you know, like a Jeffrey Epstein type deal, that'd be the way to do it. Big old crazy party, get everybody loose. And get the cameras Get them the yayo. Get them the yayo. And everything else. Get them little, everything you need. Get fired up. Get those cameras rolling. And now you got everybody under wraps. But not everyone is convinced of Diddy's resilience. Now, Gandil doubts that Diddy has the guts to handle prison time and believes he might resort to suicide if he's jailed. Oh, and he's looking worried. And you knowing him, do you think it's possible that he might commit suicide? When you're a narcissist, there's always a possibility because you're suffering. But I don't think that he could see himself in a cage. I don't think he could see himself behind those bars in those type of situations. It's too many real dudes that dislike him. But then again, there's a lot of real dudes that need help. And him being buying bars, <laughs> he could probably help them.